everyone. I think I am live. Uh, can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up or say yes in the chat if you can hear me. Welcome, everyone. This is my first live stream and uh, crossing the technical uh, boundaries of this. So, uh, oh, I see a lot of yeses. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the people here. Well, wow, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for joining me for this very first live stream from my uh, Ukulele Zen YouTube channel. So it is just me here. I'm going to do my best to read the chat and lead you through this uh, live stream lesson. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, so just wanted to start off by first saying hello to everybody. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Of course, world events being what they are, this is a very uh, challenging time, a lot of uncertainty in the world. A lot of folks are home, out of uh, not able to go to work. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. I hope that you and your family uh, are well. I hope that you remain healthy, and let's hope that everyone across the world takes the precautions needed to contain, to contain this. So just want to say quick uh, thumbs up. Uh, hello, Lauren. Hello, Mario. Hey, Jen. Oh, wow, Peter. Hey, I recognize you from Scotland. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Bill, wow, there was an earthquake in Salt Lake City today. My goodness. Well, uh, let's jump right in. Again, I'm going to do my best to uh, you know, uh, balance my eyes and my attention between serving you and talking to you. Uh, let's just talk with uh, what I have planned for today. Uh, you know, my intention, of course, is to lead you through a thorough lesson and a play along of John Lennon's Imagine. And by the way, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, if you are, please smash the like button on the video and uh, keep those chats coming. This will eventually be a, uh, a regular video. You can watch at the replay. So if you are not live with me right now and you're watching in the replay, I'm going to put timestamps in the video description so you can navigate through the different sections that I have planned for today. So really brief, I just wanted to outline uh, what I have uh, planned for today. I, I wanted to begin with just a short story uh, just to let you know where I come from and uh, share with you in you know, kind of a little more of a detailed way. I'm not going to talk for too long, but I wanted to share a quick story so uh, you, know, you know where I come from when I teach the way I do, a little bit about my background as a musician and a teacher. And uh, then I'd like to lead a short uh, meditation, okay? And we're going to use our ukulele for meditation. Now, I'd like you uh, to, when I say meditation, uh, to just try to let go of any connotations that word might have. It sometimes is misunderstood. Um, when I say meditation, the way I share meditation is, uh, you might want to write this down. It's about depth, not seriousness. So I love to share meditation and mindfulness, and I've been practicing it for decades because it brings a depth to life. Uh, whenever we return to the present moment, life becomes much more available. The wonders of life become available and our music journey can be a wonderful way of uh, bringing more mindfulness into our life. So we're gonna do a meditation with our ukuleles, with deep listening, and it's going to, you'll find, improve your technique. Then we're gonna jump into learning uh, Imagine. I'm gonna lead you through the chords. If you haven't already, please download the free song sheet that's at the link in the video description below. And uh, then we're going to have a playthrough afterwards. Uh, I'm going to take some questions and answers, and I will teach this part. The famous piano intro. And as soon as you hear this, you know what song you're playing. Uh, so this song means so much. Let's get into this. After the question and answer, I'll play some tunes for you. And... Um, Actually, you know something, if it's all right with you, I'm just going to play a short song for you right now. Uh, and I send this out to you all, wishing you well. This is a heartfelt song written by Daniel Ho. It was recorded uh, by my wife and I 
on my latest CD, After All This Time. This is called Kea Nuhea. vibrations for the world. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, some peaceful music for you. I hope that that brings you a lot of happiness. That's a song, Keanuhea, by Daniel Ho. Let's jump right into our lesson, okay? And then I'm going to share a little bit about my story as we do this. If you haven't already, get your ukulele into your lap. Oh, let me read some comments. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Russia TV. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, recorded on uh, After All This Time, a CD I recorded a few years back. So let's jump right in. You know, music is something that has always fascinated me. So when I was a little boy, I used to take this guitar. This was my father's guitar. He was a classical guitarist. He was an amateur. And the way I approach music is I consider myself an amateur. Notice I'm not pronouncing that word amateur. Amateur means one who loves. It's you know similar to amore, one who loves. And um, I would, uh, from a very young age, hear him play. And he would come home from work every day after a stressful day of working in New York City. He would come home and he would pick up his guitar and after strumming just one chord, I noticed him come back to life. And when I was a little kid, about four or five years old, it was very young, this made a big impression on me. One night I uh, got out of my bedroom because I heard him playing and I wanted to join in. And so he patiently sat me on his lap and uh, he taught me how to touch the strings and maybe just wanted to calm me down, but he asked me just to play one note. That one note changed my life. 
I could feel the vibrations going through my hands. I could feel the vibrations racing through my body to my feet. It was so pleasurable just to sit and play one note. He eventually taught me. I would sit on his lap, and over many weeks, he taught me the melody to this Spanish ballad, sometimes called Romanza. By the way, I have a lesson video about this on my YouTube channel. But the point is, is that he would sit me on his lap. I'd with one finger, I'd play that string, and he would take this hand. He would do the picking while I would move my fingers. Uh, so right from the beginning of my music experience, music was something that was a healing. It brought my father back to life. Second, it uh, was something that was shared with love and not competition. And later, uh, when a few years later, I, I think I was about seven years old, and I started to take this very guitar, this old guitar out into the woods with me. I was lucky to grow up in a place where there was a little bit of wilderness nearby, and I loved going there every day. And I would sit underneath the trees, and I would just play one note. And an amazing thing happens when we listen to one sound, when we pay attention to one thing at a time. Depth comes in through the focus, through the concentration. I don't think my dad was trying to teach me Buddhist meditation or anything. Probably was just trying to get me to calm down and focus. It worked. But um, a lot of joys come from, mir miracles can come from when we stop, when we slow down, the wonders of life become much more available to us. Now, I don't mean to turn this into a Dharma talk. I'd be happy to share more. When I talk about meditation, I'm talking about a very practical, the teachings of the Buddha are practical. They're meant to free us from habits of the mind, the habit of running away from the moment. Meditation is not escaping, it's meeting the moment. Let's use our ukuleles to do that right now. So please join me, bring your ukulele. We do this a lot in my classes, whether at festivals or in, at my retreats. Um, what we do is we will play one note. In this case, we're gonna strum one chord and we're gonna feed two birds with one seed here, okay? Uh, we're going to learn and review the chords for Imagine while, uh, while practicing this. Now this practice is so simple, but it's profound what will happen. Take your hand, find your C major chord. Don't strum it yet, just find it, okay? And now strum the chord once, and the exercise is just to listen to it as it decays into silence, okay? Ready? <laughs> I know, thrilling, right? Are you still glad you showed up? Let me know in a comment below. Thank you, Mia. So um, what happens here? We start to pay attention to the moment, concentration, uh, the meditative process, mindfulness, concentration, understanding, or insight. I'm not going to unpack all that stuff, but let's just say mindfulness is mindfulness of something. We're being mindful. We're paying attention to our chords. Concentration is what makes them pleasurable. Anything you enjoy in life, when you think about it, is thanks to concentration, you know? Paying attention to the ball game, paying attention to the conversation that you're engaged in, paying attention to whatever you're doing. It's your sustained concentration that makes it joyful, you know? Let's just try to sustain the concentration now as we go through the chords. Please, if you haven't already, download the free song sheet, and we're going to go through the chords for Imagine. We're going to learn this a little bit differently because, as you probably can tell already, I'm interested in more than just doing it right, you know, uh, putting our fingers in the right place. I would love for you to experience what happens when you just do one thing at a time. C. Let's play our F chord. As you pay attention, you may start to notice, hey, my thumb's a little tight. If we didn't stop and pay attention to it, 
if we're always whooshing by, rushing through, we often miss a lot of these physical cues. So stopping and doing one thing is very, very good for your practice. It's also nourishing. We'll get into that in a moment. Let's go through these chords. Ready? C major. Let it ring. Breathing. Smiling. F. Return to where you are, your true home, right here, right now. Now A minor, you lift up that first finger. D minor, your middle finger stays there, paying attention to all the details. Even if you've played these chords a million times, look at them like you've never played them before. I encourage you to do that. Next chord, G, that's three fingers. Next is G7, a lot of ways to move from G to G7. I like to do this, I reposition my fingers like this. And now the last chord, E7, lift the first finger and put it here, okay? Now obviously I'm going slowly and I'm, I want to bring everybody along with me. I don't want to rush by and have some of the folks who are just starting out miss out. Let's now play through the verse, okay? It's actually pretty easy. We're going to play this strum first on a C chord, then an F chord, okay? The strum is this. Let me demonstrate it. One, two, and three, and four, and one. happens when you sink in. Don't even try to do anything else but this very simple, humble part. How about we sing? Ready? Mm, imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Only sky. Let's move on. Keep going. Imagine all the people living for today. See, let's just stay on these chords so I can talk you through a little nuance now. We're going to play and break down much more of this song. Let's start here. Is your foot tapping to the beat? Tap, 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 yeah. I know you're watching a live stream. I'm so glad you're watching me. But right now, use your eyes and see if you can see your strumming hand and your foot. Notice how they connect. Being in the body is not only good for your music, it's good for your spirit. It means that you're not running away from the moment. It's so meditation. It's returning to the here and now. Let's do this again. Come on. Tap, tap, tap. It can be humbling to notice that my foot isn't stable, but that's when you smile. Let's try the second verse. Okay, are you ready to begin? One, two, you can, of course, embellish the strum if you like. Second verse. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. No religion to play the bridge. Let's move on. Imagine all the people 
in the chords for the verse. Strum your C chord one more time, ready? Yeah. Thank you for jamming along with me. I was letting the ukulele sing. How do you feel? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, Janice. Big love to you too. Hey, Mark, I recognize you. Hey, big shout out to all the patrons of, of Ukulele Zen supporting on Patreon. Thank you very much. Um, and big shout out to everyone around the world. This is a powerful song so much meaning in this. You can bring a lot of depth to music with something simple when you play from the heart. And having said that, let's now embellish what we did because I want to show you some cool things you can do with the strum. And Ali, hey, so glad you're here. Jonita, yeah, thank you, Franny. So what we're going to do now is embellish and uh, try to lead you through this virtual lesson. What we were doing there is, of course, the idea is to link up the foot tapping on the slow quarter note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on top of that, we're playing this strum. Now, for us to practice our strum, let's use the X chord. This is something I talk about in my workshops, the X chord. Here is the X chord. Take your hand and just muffle the strings. The X chord does several things. For one thing, it makes your rhythms more clear. You can hear what the right hand is doing much clearer. It can really improve the quality of your strumming, you know, the precision of your strumming. The X chord. Go ahead, try it. Make sure that no notes are coming out. It should be a totally dead sound. If there still are some notes coming out, what you want to do is just let go, relax the wrist, and just floppy. Floppy, okay? What the X chord also does is it puts you in touch with what it's like to be totally relaxed. If you've watched some of my YouTube videos in the past, by the way, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos. You probably noticed in a lot of my videos, I emphasize relaxation. I'm very excited about being calm. <laughs> and uh, it really is an exciting, thrilling thing to feel yourself relax and to turn your practice room, the chair that you sit in, into a sanctuary, into a place where you are nourished, so nourished just by your practice. Why? Because you stopped rushing, you know? We'll talk more about the power of going slow. And I still have part two of my story. But first, back to you and the lesson. When you play the X chord, is your thumb relaxed? Even if you've done this many times, do it again. It's a new day. You know, the guitarist from U2, The Edge, he has a famous quote. He says, every time I pick up my guitar, I pretend it's the first time I'm playing it. <laughs> I like to do that too. U2. Maybe we'll have a 
different lesson on that, but back to the X chord. Touch, practice the hand being loose. Now for the, for the strum, we were playing this rhythm. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and just get your foot together. Notice how when you strum down, your foot is moving down. When you strum up, your foot's moving up. Down beats, up beats. Now, let's add a little something extra to it. One, we'll slow it down. Here's your foot. Start with your foot. One, two, is your foot tapping? Good. Breathe deeply. Smile to your feet. You know, everywhere you've gone in your life, your feet have taken you there. You know, so Smile at your feet. And now the rhythm. One, two, and three, and a four, E, and one, and two, and three, and four, E, and. So what we're doing is just very in a very basic way, starting to embellish the rhythm with a faster strum, strumming a little bit of a 16th note rhythm on beat four. Let me be clear about this. I want you to be improvisational about this and not be, you know, rigidly attached to just one rhythm. However, it can be very helpful to practice just one thing. So let's just do this one thing, and then you can drop this rhythm into different parts of the strum. You dig? Let me know in a comment if you dig it, okay? Here we go. One, two, and three, and a four, e, and one, and two, and three, e, and a four, e, and one, and two, and three, e, and a four, e, and... Yes, how you feeling? Did you notice what I was doing on beat three with my voice? I was subdividing, I was preparing the quicker rhythm by counting it. One and two and three and. So let me try it again. <laughs> one and two and three and a four e and. One and two and three and a four e and. Let's add it to the verse of Imagine. Ready? Two, three, four. stopping you, but now let's try a different pattern. One and two e and three and four and one and two e and. Say it with me. One and two e and three and four. If you can say it, you can play it. You, really, it has to come out the mouth first. Ready? From the voice. One and two and three and four. One and two e and three and four and one and two e and Try it with the chords. Try it on beat four as well. One more time. So this is just dipping our toes into a little bit of how you can start to embellish the rhythm quite naturally, really intuitively, once you lock in a stable, stable rhythm, okay? If you're digging this, please uh, smash that like button. So glad you're here. Bobby, hey. Hello, Joanna. Hey, Bob. So glad you're here. Bob from Madison. Wow, all these sweet ukulele folks from around the world Yes, yes, thank you so much. I feel very, very lucky to travel to the ukulele, across the ukulele kingdom, teach and be with you all. Ukulele people really are the sweetest people in the world. So now what we can do now is just briefly explore the strum just a little more. And I wanna bring up something very, very important. It's something that is easily overlooked and that is dynamics. Don't play every, I would recommend that you don't play every strum the same volume. It will bring more musicality. It will also allow the rhythm to really speak more clearly. Your hand won't get as tired either. So what I mean by that is to really get in touch 
with what it's like to barely strum the strings. Just like the X chord got us in touch with what it's like to really have a relaxed hand. Pretend you're brushing a baby's face. Downstairs, my six week old baby boy is there. I'm getting a lot of practice on brushing a baby's face. That is really how lightly you want to play. Okay, give this a try. What will happen is that you'll have this background, this baseline, and then when you want to accent something, it will really stand out from the foreground. If everything is played loudly, it's, it's less musical, okay? So let's try this, especially on a sensitive song like this. It's wonderful to, let's just try it only on the C chord. Let's just hold down just one chord, okay? So we can really focus on this hand. Let me demonstrate what I mean. And notice how I'm playing mostly softly. Now I'm going to bring out a little accent. Let's talk about this briefly and then let's practice it, okay? Are you ready? When you play like this, it's so musical. The key with so much with music is to use the voice. Most of the world music is still taught oral tradition. That's how I learned to play mostly. So say it and you can play it. I mean, literally say it loud enough to reach your ears, okay? Don't hold back. And when you say it, Make sure that you're saying it the way you want it to hear it. So ready? I'll play. I'll say one and two and three and four. Yeah. One and two and three and join it. One and two and three and four. Yeah. One and two and three and four. Yeah. One and two and three and four. Yeah. Yes. Now let's say it with down and ups so you can really practice it. And you may like to look at what you're doing. So your voice is commanding the hand. Watch. One and two and three and four and down up, 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 down 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 up, down up, down up, down up. Most of the time, I'm just brushing the baby's face. You can practice this if you have a, you know, a swishy sounding shirt or a jacket. Do you hear how I can bring out two different sounds of my strap? Excuse me. There it is. <laughs> People just tuning in. What is this crazy man doing? What I'm doing is I'm trying to show you how the gesture of the hand whipping a little faster, not necessarily harder, but faster, will bring out a different tone. Now, don't get me wrong. Harder is another uh, parameter. It's another color palette to use. But when you really want to explore ukulele tone, I recommend just hang in with one chord of the open strings and see what is the effects of moving slowly and lightly, slowly and with more force, fast and lightly, fast and with force. By the way, this is my Griffin ukulele. Kasha bracing. This thing has got a lot of volume. I'm sorry if I'm hurting your ears. How about we play a little more? I've been teaching a little bit here about dynamics with the right hand, making the left hand soft through the X chord and the F chord transitions. But now let's just play, okay? And then what I'd like to do is I would like to show you how to play the introduction, all right? Are you ready to play through the song? Let's play it all the way from the beginning. If you're a tab reader, please feel free to follow along with the tablature for the intro, and then we're gonna sing and play the whole song. I'm gonna read some comments and uh, do that while I take a sip of water. Thank you, Diane. Yes, well, remaining connected to the breath. 
is a powerful, powerful practice. Um, I wanted to share with you that when I talk about meditation, I mean depth, not seriousness, and that we're not making a battle with ourselves. You know, you have an infinite amount of um, returns. You can keep returning to the moment. Letting go is a powerful practice. And I know you already know what I'm talking about, but I wanted to remind you and remind myself, that's really what the game is. It's how do we return? How do we come back? Now, let's see about sustaining this attention, this detached attention, as we play through. And I would encourage you to do a little experiment. You can watch this video again or try this with any song. See what happens when you forget about your hands and just let the heart play. I know that might sound kind of woo-woo. I'm the Bob Ross of ukulele, I know. But there's something powerful when you already have a good idea of how to do something and you can let go. The music will really start to play itself. You go deeper. Your concentration sustained helps you to let go and let the music just play itself. All right? I could talk from now until next Wednesday about what that's like. Talking is not what we're about here, although I'm talking. It's your direct experience. So have an experience with this. Yes, look at the song sheet, but let the heart guide, let the emotional content of what you feel about the song guide you. And this is, goes the same for playing a heavy metal tune, a blues song, you know, jazz, whatever. Let's play. And then I'm going to play a little more for you. Is everybody ready? Too deep. Thank you so much. Here's the intro. One, two, we'll do it two times. One, two, three, intro. Get ready to sing. Imagine there's no heaven. Strum. It's easy if you try. You can also know hell below us, above us, holy sky bridge. Imagine all the people living. Imagine there's no country It isn't hard to do Nothing to kill or die for And no religion to Imagine all the people Living life in peace, you, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. Imagine no possessions keep strumming. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. A brotherhood of men. Imagine all the people. Sharing all the world You may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join us And the world will live 
there's one intro, strong C, or pick. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the world will live as one. Thank you for joining in. I'm going to answer all the questions. I see, I see these questions coming in. But first, I just want to say thanks for joining in. As you can see, I'm doing my thing with it. And that's what I'm really trying to encourage you to do. What is wonderful to do with a song is to stay with one pattern and just to refine it. One simple refinement is to bring attention to those accents, those some strums being soft, some strums being harder. We talked about that earlier. And a wonderful technique to use is the chuck. I have a video on the chuck. It's one of the first videos I made on my channel way back. And you can start to bring a pattern like this into it. So what is that pattern? I'll break it down nice and slow. Strum, thumb, chuck. Okay, I should get up my high G ukulele to play for you too. Strum, thumb, chuck. Just do that. Strum, thumb, chuck. What is the chuck? If you know how to chuck, say yes or say chuck on or <laughs> let me know in the chat. Chucking is where you use, I use these fingers, but you can also just use one finger. You strum with some force, and then immediately afterwards, muffle with this. It's a tricky technique at first, and I have a whole video on it. Go to my YouTube channel and look in the search bar, you know, click the little search bar and look up the chunk. I think I called it the chunk, but you can find a whole tutorial where I go through this very thoroughly. Strum, thumb, chuck. Strum, thumb, chuck, down. Oh, yeah, Kelly's got the chuck. Andy's got the chuck. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Strum, thumb, chuck, up, down. Strum, thumb, chuck, up, down. I know when you're first starting to learn music, or maybe if you've been playing for a long time, it, it seems that there's just one way to do things. There are, isn't. I am a huge fan of what uh, Pete Seeger called the folk process. You're going to do it your way anyway. You know, even if I perfectly articulated exactly what to do moment to moment, you're still going to do it your way. So, yeah, we get close to certain things, but then I love the freedom of just doing it your way. And I hope that you feel liberated by that in your own practice. When you feel like you're playing below a certain standard, lower that standard. <laughs> That doesn't mean we don't achieve or strive to achieve, but, you know, peace. Let's love what we do. So let's try this pattern again. Do it the way you can. Do it the best you can. Let go. Here we go. Strum, thumb, chuck, go down. Strum, thumb, chuck, go down. Ready to try it again? You notice that first strum, I kind of put a little fan stroke, a little flick in there. Strum, thumb. Strum, thumb, chuck, strum, thumb, chuck, strum, thumb, chuck. And of course, you can fill it in intuitively. 
Let me demonstrate what this is like when you play the verse, just two chords. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. Ready? Two, I'll do it slowly. You can join in with me or just listen and try it later. Two, three, four. got a little more of a, I guess that chuck makes it sound like, like a soul drew groove because it has a bit of a snare drum. You may not like that. And if you don't, if you want to express the song differently, then of course, do your thing with it. How's everybody feeling out there? You feeling good? Would you like me to do more of these live streams? Let me know. I have a whole plan for five common mistakes that ukulele players often make and ways to correct them. I have a whole uh, plan. I've made a whole outline for other live streams about specific songs, specific solos. So uh, I hope you're digging this. Um, if you are, please hit the like button and uh, let me know with a comment below. Hey, Stian Kaleli, thank you. Piper, yes, all right. All right, oh, Liam, thank you. Lockdown in Dublin. Yeah, you know, I haven't said it since the beginning, but, you know, my heart goes out to everybody. Let's contain this thing this coronavirus. I hope that everyone's staying in as much as you can, being careful, and that you and your loved ones are safe and are well. Um, it's really important, to say the least. Some folks were asking about the finger style. How do I show this in 15 more minutes, you know, <laughs> without you being in the same room? You know how? By playing a game called Bullseyes. When I share uh, these practice techniques in my live lessons, whether it's at my annual retreat, my ukulele Zen retreat, which I hope still happens this year, it might be canceled, I hope not, or in or at a festival, the power of doing just one thing. Remember, we started with just listening. And what is revealed by just doing one thing at a time? So go ahead and look at the tablature at the top. I'm going to switch to uh, to my high G ukulele so it sounds the same as the tablature. And uh, what you do is just do one thing. P pinch those first two notes. That's it. Allow yourself to settle. What I'm doing is I'm pinching with a thumb in the middle. And then the index comes in between. Do that again. As you do this, don't concern with whether it sounds like the finished product yet. Allow it to unfold. Thank you, Janet. I hope I get returned to Seattle this year with another retreat, another day-long retreat this fall. A couple of things are happening as you slow down. For one thing, you're relaxing. It's a good idea to have some snacks nearby. Something that interrupts what you're playing so you get a break, All right? Have some tea nearby. Have some inspiring pictures nearby. Turn your practice chair into the most comfortable seat in your entire house because when you sit on it, you can do no wrong. The rest of the world, okay, I got to hurry. I got to be at work on time. I got to do this, do that. But when I sit down here, I slow down. Let me get to the real point here. If you practice this way, you're going to end up making real progress because you're going to shoot bullseyes, to use the darts analogy. You line up each shot. You take your time. You have to poise yourself. You shoot, and you see what happens. Maybe you hit the target. Maybe you hit the wall. But either way, smile. You have to let go at some point. So ready? Let's just do this once. Now pinch and then index finger. Now, if you can already do this, don't go away. Don't leave the room because there's actually something amazing that happens when you go deeper. Yes, maybe you already know how to execute this, but now can you do it while tapping your foot? Can you do it while maintaining some connection to your breath? 
when I say breathe, I don't mean you know making a loud snort. I mean just that you are aware that you're breathing. You can feel it entering your body, sustaining your life, and you return it to the world. There's never-ending exchange between you and the world. There's a lot what the music is like. You're giving it out to the audience, to the world, and it's returning you back. It's attention. So nourish what you're doing with your attention. Repeat things. You may like to just shoot one bullseye. There, you just did it correctly. Do three in a row. And then stop. Very often when people practice, they repeat, they repeat, they repeat, they repeat. And they may do it 10 times, but if you're doing it 100 times even incorrectly, well, guess what? Now you have to unlearn what you just learned. So going slow actually saves you time. Write that down. Go slow and save time. You know, you'll really will get there and you'll be um, more calm. You'll feel more calm in your heart when you arrive. So most of this intro is the open strings. We play one and two and three. And now we have to place, I place my middle finger on the second fret. And here we pinch three strings, okay? So now it's the thumb and middle like before, but now I'm going to use my ring finger. If you don't like to do that, no worries. You can pinch it like this with the thumb index and middle. But by using the middle finger in the ring, you don't interrupt this pattern. See? Three strings coming up. So we're playing a C chord. When we introduce this note, for a moment, it's a C major 7 chord. I don't mark it as a C major 7 chord because I think of it just a C with an extra melody note. Okay, it's a little simpler. So let's just play this first phrase. Excuse me, my ukulele is going out of tune. But very good. How'd you do? You feeling good? Let's line up another shot. Okay. One, two, three, here we go. Get it ready. One, two, three, three fingers. Nice. How about one more and then let's play the F chord section. Ready? Three, four. Thank you very much. I noticed some folks in the chat asking about the ukulele retreat. I'm going to have a Q&A, so please stick around. This lesson is not over. We, I'm, we're going to go, we're not going to, I won't keep you here all day, but we're going to go a little more than an hour. So, uh, and I'll talk about my Patreon page, how you can support this channel and get all kinds of awesome benefits. And, um, and yes, uh, that's very sweet of you to um, PayPal for love offerings. That's really sweet. I'm doing this just just to do it, but thank you. And um, if you want to support on Patreon, I'll tell you about that, but let's move on. Now we move to the F chord. A couple of things here. You could begin by just strumming the F chord, but what I have on the tablature is another three finger pinch. So that's gonna be the thumb, middle, and ring finger. I'm gonna answer all kinds of questions in the Q&A in just a moment, but just hold this down, pinch. Can you see what I'm doing there? So just do that. Once again, patiently, shoot one arrow at a time, or one dart at a time. Drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. Okay, that's how it works. That's how I've learned everything. By the way, I should say it's taken me a while to learn how to play music. I've been doing this for a long time, you know, but the bucket is filled. And it's really wonderful to gift to yourself to fill it without strain, you know. So every time you feel yourself maybe uh, criticizing your efforts or anything like that or wishing it was different, take your hand off and do this, you know, and celebrate that you showed up for your music, you know? Just showing up is a victory. Yeah, so here we go. Let's practice the F chord. It's very helpful to look at what you're doing and then double check against it. Very cool. So if you have this, you're ready to play the rest of the measure. You do this three times. And then there are three notes. And there's two ways you can play this. You can play, you can pick open one, two, you know, that famous piano melody. I marked it as a hammer on 
You don't have to do this, but you tap. You can tap all three notes. That's picking and then hammering. That's a technique that's a little tricky, especially for folks just starting out. So if you're just starting out, just pick three times. And I'm picking like this. Just letting my fingers walk. You do want to try the hammer on. You can hammer all three. Or you can hammer the first one and then pick. Remember, this whole live stream is going to be available for you to watch again. All right. How about we put the whole thing together? Remember the formula. There are three repeats of the, of the gesture in the C chord, and then the last beat, something different. One, two, three, four. And then when you get to the F chord, you can have three of the same thing. One, two, three on four. You're going to have that melody. Take your hand off and celebrate if you just did that. Yeah. So thank you, Jack. Thanks for being here, Jack. Appreciate you joining. So, oh, Steve, Steve Witten, Steve Witten, big love to Buffalo. Steve Witten, I grew up with Steve Witten. The first guitar, uh, first band I was ever in was with Steve. All right, man. So glad you're here, brother. Let's, um, let's play this introduction. I'm going through this slowly because I know that many folks are just starting out. And I don't want to just teach this way. Yeah, you got it? Okay, bye. <laughs> I want to take you with me. So let's do this slowly. Are you ready? Get your middle finger on that note you're going to need. And remember to think ahead to the F chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stop after this. Yeah, that's very nice. See what I'm doing there at the end? I'm playing a C chord, but instead of my first, my uh, ring finger being there, it's at the second fret. Were you able to do that at that speed? No worries if not. You know what you want to do? Slow it down. Practice things at the speed of a glacier, a glacier moving across the land and you will really make progress. So this is what I mean. One, two, this will be the last exercise and I'm gonna take some questions. One, two, three, and four, and one, three fingers. So you can see that this introduction is not only beautiful for the beginning of the song, but if you're comfortable picking it, if you really get this, you can sing over it. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you're trying. Okay. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we're not done yet. I'm going to take question and answer and then perform a special tune for you. I want to say thank you so much to everyone around the world. Um, I am a lifelong musician. I am very feel very lucky to have been in a couple of successful bands. My Buffalo-based uh, band, Babik, our gypsy jazz band, we played with symphony orchestras. And uh, one time I was driving around the city and I turned on national public radio and there was a story about us. It was kind of wild. Um, I am also feel really lucky that I got to tour for three years with this artist, Sanatam Kar, and record this album, Beloved. And um, Beloved, that's my wife, Sarah Nilamjit. Wonderful, wonderful percussionist, that's Sanatam and myself. And this, this recording was uh, nominated for a Grammy Award last year. 
And uh, I also have my own uh, recordings. Uh, so very, very, feel very, very lucky to, to do what I do and to tour around the world to meet the very, very sweet ukulele community around the world. I was, as some of you know, going to come to Australia, but the COVID-19 virus has thrown a wrench in the works. The festival that was bringing me in has been canceled. And because of that cancellation, I'm not going to be able to tour. I am totally bummed about it, but it is the right call. You can see I was excited. I've had this on my, my can forever. The Koala Hospital in Port Macquarie, I donated a couple of times and they gave me this sticker. I was going to get to go to this hospital in Port Mac in, in New South Wales. Bummer. Big love out to Australia. Hope that we can see each other in 2021. Let's, uh, let's move on with a little bit of a Q&A. And um, uh, in a future uh, live stream, look forward to sharing more practice tips and things like that. Let's see, uh, what question do you have? I know we're just at about an hour. I don't want to uh, keep you too long. I uh, would be happy to hang with you, though. Any questions about what we've just done before I play a little tune for you? Okay, it's from Joanna. One question, what is the strum for the chorus and the bridge? So you can keep the strum very simple. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And add that or just leave that melody out. You can also use the chuck strum. If you want to later on in the song bring a little more groove, a little more motion to the song. It's one nice strategy for playing songs is to begin them simply and then develop them with a little extra strumming. Okay, so I explain that strum down, thumb plucks one string, chuck up, down, down, strum, chuck up, down. All right, cool. So thank you um, for that question. Stephen wanted to know tips on singing. Yes, yes, so tips on singing. Um, what is a good idea is to sit upright, put your feet on the floor if they're not already on the floor, and pluck a string and try to match it. Now, a nice thing to do is to take a deep breath and imagine that as you breathe in, you're filling a balloon, but we're going to let a little bit of air out of the balloon before we sing. So join me in this breathing and singing exercise. You do this, breathe in. Just sigh. Ready? Breathe. This is step one. Stian uh, Babik is available at my website for download. All my recordings are available there. Now, we're going to sing. Now, we're going to let a little bit of the sigh out and allow your voice to find its most natural resting point. It may not be a note that you choose, but just allow your voice to find its most natural place in the moment. Ready? Uh... Yes, Janine Lee, I'm going to get to your question in just a moment. One more time. Breathe in. Uh... So we're not even trying to sing a specific note now. What we're doing is we're just opening up the channel, opening up the pipes here with the sound ah, the most open sound you can make. Oh, I just happened to sing a C. Ah. Now there's a lot more to unpack with singing and exercises, but let me summarize by this. It's better to, instead of singing from the top of your lungs like this, ah, you know, just forcing it out allow a little bit of sigh to come out. And then your voice settles and it's a much more uh, pleasing sound and it doesn't strain your voice so much. It's good to find the first note of the song. And then begin. Imagine there's no heaven. Now take another breath. It's easy if you try. 
So there are a lot of vocal warm-ups I do. I can share those in another time. But right now, just try that one out. Breathe deeply, sigh, allow your voice to settle into its most natural place and listen, actively listen to your voice and encourage yourself. You know, remember, showing up is a victory. So uh, someone was asking, um, I can't go back. I think it was um, uh, Janine Lee, the final three notes. Okay, three ways you can play it. Play open, index finger, pick, second finger picks, the second fret. Just do that with me. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. The other technique is to use hammer-ons. Now, what hammering on is drumming on your ukulele with one finger. Earlier, we used the X chord to isolate the strum. Now, this is the right hand equivalent of the X chord. Just mute the strings and drum on your ukulele. My wrist is not tight, it's loose. And what you're doing is you're swinging the fingers from here. There's a whole lot of details and I can unpack this much more thoroughly in a video or some extra content on Patreon sometime. But what's happening is you start to get some strength hammering. And I should say that hammering on thin ukulele strings is hard to do, okay? Much easier to do this on low, bass strings. Okay, next I would pluck the string and hammer. <laughs> Smile at it. So relax. Notice if your thumb wants to tighten up. And I'm showing you this very briefly. You would of course want to isolate this and get strong at the hammer on. A good idea is to Keep your finger very close to the fret and listen. The goal, and this is, might take a while. It can be humbling, of course, when these things don't happen right away. But the goal is to have the note that you pick and the note that you hammer be the same volume. All right, take some time. And you will miss, okay? You're going to miss. It'll just happen. So when that happens, take your hand off. Breathe and smile. So a couple more questions, and I'd like to play a little bit of music. Just want to say thank you so much for being here. Um, if you are enjoying this, uh, I hope that you'll consider joining uh, in support of this channel on Patreon. You know, For low monthly memberships, Patreon allows kind folks like you to support independent artists like me. On the Patreon page, you get a whole lot of benefits. For $2 a month, you have access to a whole library of lesson content, PDF song sheets, and the monthly jam track. I'm about to make the jam track for this month's jam track, Folsom Prison Blues. And then for $5 a month, there's extra lessons. For $10 a month, there's uh, even more in-depth lessons. There's all kinds of extra content, uh, discounts at my store. Please check the link. I'll put it, I think it's in the video description, uh, patreon.com slash ukulele zen. Your support is so appreciated. And um, there's a whole lot of benefits there for you. So uh, appreciate you being there. And one of the best things about it is that I get to interact with you personally, a little more personally. I'm always there uh, once a day to answer questions that you might have about a certain lesson. And you can sift through the large library of posts and the goodies attached to each post for you to enjoy. So hope you'll consider joining uh, the Patreon page. Not a sales pitch, just an invitation if you'd like to join. So, oh, you want to hear me play a Malagueña? Linz, here we go.
that was for you, Lynn's little spontaneous Malagueña. How's everybody feeling out there? Robin, so cool to have you here, Northampton. I'm so glad that you've decided to join the live stream lesson. I'd like to play another, just one last piece of music for you. We've been here for over an hour and I'm happy to hang with you. I will do another one of these. I hope to do more of these. Maybe I could do two a month. I could have one that's specifically just for beginners. I can have things that are a little more in depth. Like I said earlier, I have all kinds of plans, five tips for you know overcoming common difficulties with instruments. You could have a whole finger picking thing. So I look forward to hearing from your from you in the chat and in the comments if you're watching this on replay. Because I'm really looking forward to offering more of these. Please stay safe. Please take good care of yourself. And uh, I hope that you and your loved ones are well during this very, very challenging time. Beth O'Leary, I am grateful for you too. This is so fun. How is it? How have I not done this for five something years? Um, I'm going to play a song now that is inspired by the ukulele. I used to sing this song at the cancer hospital where I worked as an artist in residence. This always cheered up residents. I, it was inspired by a resident who had a huge collection of ukuleles. And as you might know, the ukulele is called the jumping flea. Um, this cancer survivor has uh, something like 51 ukuleles and they invited me over their house. It was you know, wall to wall ukes in their <laughs> music room. It was tons of fun. And so it inspired the song. It's for everybody out there who loves the ukulele. It's especially for folks who may be suffering from a condition called ukulele acquisition syndrome. Let me know in the chat if you got UAS. You got a case of ukulele acquisition syndrome? Got to give a big shout out to Stukulele. Stukulele is, yeah, it's what I, my first record is called, my first solo record is called Stukulele. But I'm talking about the Stukulele who lives in Mullumbimby in Australia. Check out his uh, channel. Uk Mullum, U-K, U-L, uh, Uk Mullum, Stukulele, just search YouTube for Uk Mullum. You will find it, M-U-L-L-U-M. Great teacher, great guy, and he teaches all kinds of Hawaiian styles. So check out Stukulele. He's also got a Patreon page. And I want to shout out, before I sing this last song for you and pick for you, shout out my friend in Bellingham, Washington, Brian Griffin. Brian Griffin made this ukulele. Brian is um, an octogenarian, and I say that with respect. Brian has a ton of life experience. He is a wonderful luthier. He makes ukuleles with a special kasha bracing system. That's why the sound hole is here and why my uke sounds so different. Um, he uses very, very fine woods. He's a wonderful guy, very knowledgeable. Check out his ukes at Griffin Ukuleles and tell him Stu sent you. Um, he might be able to make you a ukulele if you like. The Kasha Bracing System is all explained at his website, too. So, are you ready for some music? Atana Finkler, I hear you. I hear you. So when I when I when when this is a live stream replay, I'm going to put timestamps in it. Go through the video and put timestamps like many of my YouTube videos have timestamps so you can find the different sections. How's everybody feeling? Let's go back to our ukuleles together, okay? Play an A minor chord and let it ring into silence. Just let it ring. It becomes a bell of mindfulness to play one chord. The bell of mindfulness, listening to it, you return to the moment. So before I play, Let's just have a moment where we pause. Loving all the chat. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy, in normal. Love, love to you and Kent. Look forward to coming through again. Let's just listen to the sound of the bell and then go to your ukulele and play any note. Play one note and see if you can. The exercise is to sustain your attention. You ready? Depth, not seriousness. 
meeting the world, joining it. So that's what mindfulness is. Sustained concentration brings clarity and brings understanding or insight. When we do this with a chord, when we do this with a single note, the insight might be something about how we could improve. It could be an insight about where we're holding tension. It could be an insight of, I want to put more of this kind of sound into it or more of this sound into it. So the formula is mindfulness, concentration, insight. Thank you for listening. This is not religion. This is a technique. It's something that fits into any tradition. So I hope that you enjoy this and um, that peace and contentment is part of your musical practice. That's why I share this and I so appreciate you being here. My baby boy is downstairs and so is Sarah and they need me to get down there. So I'm going to play one more song and then sign off here. I hope you enjoy this song, My Little Jumping Flea. It is available on my CD, which is available to purchase for download, stufuchs.com. Most importantly, I'm just so glad that you're here. Thanks for spending the time with me. A song about ukulele acquisition syndrome. One, two, one, two, oh, two, three, four. open wide, my beloved's waiting by my side, four shimmering sunbeams calling me, she got a lovely shape, I hold her close, every day a therapeutic dose, transport her to the beach at Waikiki, well, she thinks that she's the only one, there's four string cloning going on, all my youths are the only ones for me. I touch your strings, make them sing Every day another feather added to my wings I call them my little jumping flea Dr. McCartney. She was just 17, you know what I mean. And the way she looked was way beyond compare. Sing it with me. How could I dance with another? I saw her standing there. Well, she looked at me. I, I could see that before too long I fall in love with her I'll never dance with another I saw her standing there Sing it with me now My heart went boom When I crossed that room And I held her hand in my hand each other tight and before too long I fell in love with her I'll never dance with another I saw her standing there I'm gonna finish my song 
there's a cute bear tone blowing up my phone. Custom made tennis, leave me alone for shimmering sunbeams calling me. I got a great rapport with my music store. They see me coming, they open the door. You loot the ears, you fill my heart with glee. This one got a tone, make me wanna sing. I even consulted the E Ching. Excuse me while I strum an open C. That's a D. Anyway, I love them all, just can't decide. Keep my four string sweetie sitting by my side. I call it my little jumping flea. I call it my little jumping flea. I call it my little jumping flea. Thank you so much for being here. That is my little jumping fleet, a love song to the ukulele, and a song for everybody who might be suffering from ukulele acquisition syndrome. I definitely have a case of that and uh, all kinds of other goodies. Thank you so much for joining me. Wanted to put my hands together with sincerity and say, I appreciate you. I hope that you are well. I hope that your music making is peaceful, content, and that you can share that with your loved ones and the rest of the world. Please subscribe to this channel, Ukulele Zen. You can join us on Patreon to support and get all kinds of cool benefits for your low monthly donation. Either way, I'm glad you're here. I'll definitely do more of these live streams. This is a ton of fun. I'm very, very honored to be part of the global ukulele community, and I appreciate you spending some time with me. Take good care. I'm going to sign off now, but not before I say, hey, Tim Mark, thank you so much for being here. Namaste, Estelle. Thank you. So, yeah, to everyone in Germany, danke schön. Everyone in uh, France, merci beaucoup. Uh, thanks, mate. Absolutely. Uh, Thank you, Vel. Muchísimas gracias. Muito obrigado. And uh, I think that's all for me. Much love. May the ukulele and music continue to take you home to the here and now. All blessings. Take good care. We'll see you soon.